All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? this heavyweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Paul. the shot. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check it, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab on Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right around him. 36 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Jones gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Ooh-wee! 
Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Big punch landed. He had a throw. Oh, look at that. Left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Two minutes on the round one clock. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Seconds here. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Followed by the right. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Mixes it up nicely. Oh! Well, oh, that diving punch landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, beautiful striking display as we have come to expect from the great John Jones. Yeah, John Jones is diverse. He's one of those guys that will never give you an idea of where he's going with his strikes. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times. And now he's in a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. And there it is! Oh! What a fight! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets...